Hello and welcome to Tech Circle. I am Vignesh Anantaraj. Now as many companies have been forced to work from home and communicate through many of the video conferencing apps available out there, the question arises of which is the better video conferencing app? And there's a lot to choose from. We have Google Meet, we have Zoom, we have Microsoft Teams, Cisco and good old Skype. But for this video, we will narrow down this comparison to two very popular video conferencing applications who are fighting it out for the bigger piece of the pie, Zoom and Google Meet. But first, a very quick introduction to both these applications. So Zoom is an enterprise video communications platform, which is cloud-based and is used for video and audio conferencing, collaboration, chat, and webinars across mobile devices, desktops, telephones, and room systems. A recent study by Sensor Tower showed that it was the most downloaded app in India in the quarter one of 2020. And Zoom app downloads, which was around 1 million at the beginning of the quarter, skyrocketed to more than 6 million by the last week of March in India alone. Now talking about Google Meet. So it is essentially an upgraded version of the Hangouts app and is also an app for business use such as webinars, video conferencing and includes variable features such as screen sharing recording options and a few other features which we will get to in a bit. But both these apps have undergone certain upgrades in the last few weeks. Google Meet announced upgrades such as low light mode, ability to have 16 people on screen simultaneously from the previous four, while Zoom has been tackling a different problem, its security. There were many instances of Zoom bombing where unwanted individuals would just pop up into meetings and share lewd messages and unwanted content. However, the management of Zoom has been very open in accepting these challenges and have been giving out frequent updates on how they are mitigating them. Now let's try and analyze these two popular video conferencing applications and find out which would suit you better. Now the first criteria we'll look into is security. Zoom has allegedly been plagued by many security concerns such as Zoom bombing, sending data to Facebook and have been questioned on their end-to-end -end encryption. And talking about encryption, the chief product officer admitted that the data was indeed not end-to-end -end encrypted and apologized for, and I quote, the confusion we have caused by incorrectly suggesting that Zoom meetings were capable of using end-to-end -end encryption. But as I said before, Zoom has been very vocal about the security concerns and have undertaken a 90-day plan wherein they look to address all of the security needs. The latest update in this plan was the Zoom 5.0 update which specifically looked to tackle Zoom bombing and encryption issues. On the other hand, Google Meet has a solid security framework. It has features such as two-factor authentication, claimed total data encryption, as well as an incident management system. It would be fair to say that Zoom's security framework has become much, much better than what it was a few months ago. But for having a more cleaner slate in terms of security issues, I would personally say that Google Meet gets a slighter upper hand, very slight upper hand in terms of its security. Now let's take a brief look at the pricing and subscription charges. Both apps have a good set of tools for the paid customers, but Zoom hosts its basic plan for free. Google Meet also has its free service, but it goes by the name of Google Hangouts. While G Suite pricing starts at $6 per month, Zoom starts at $14.99. We have to give kudos to Google as they announced that they will offer their subscription features for free till September 30th for all G Suite users. This is in view of the COVID-19 outbreak. Meanwhile, Zoom's free plan can support close to 100 participants per meeting. It offers virtual backgrounds, ability to raise your hand if you need to speak, as well as features such as muting participants, recording conversations and screen sharing. But for bigger companies with employees more than 300, Zoom Enterprise and Zoom Business Solutions can support close to 300 to 500 participants, while Meet and G Suite can only max out at 250 members with an enterprise plan grade at $25 per month. And what about collaboration? Which of these two works better with other services and apps in the market? Zoom will provide integration with Google Drive, Google Calendar, and can also be integrated with Microsoft Outlook, Facebook's Workplace, and even Skype. A big game changer for Google is that it integrated Meet with Gmail recently, which will now allow users to join or create meetings through the Gmail interface. Now let's get into a few specific features, or some of which are unique to each application. Which of the two will allow you to change background images without using a green screen? It's Zoom. Google Meet has no such background feature yet. 
which app announced a noise cancellation feature recently is Google Meet. We are looking at sounds such as keyboard typing, keys clacking and even dogs barking which Meet has said it can cut out. However, we have to note that Zoom had announced its own noise cancellation way back in 2018 to cut out the sound of typing out from the keyboard and also offers pretty high quality audio. Which of the two apps allows entering a meeting through a cell phone dial-in? It's Google Meet. Zoom still does not have a dial-in feature where we can just use our cell phone numbers to enter meetings. And uh, which of the two apps allows the host to record chat messages while being dialed in? The correct answer is Zoom. The host also has can choose how long the recorded chats can stay in the cloud. This is only available with the paid Zoom account. Google Meets chats disappear as soon as a webinar or meeting gets over. And also Zoom gets extra points for allowing users to privately chat with other individual users during a meeting while also giving the host the power to disable chat entirely. And finally, a Google meeting ends when the last participant leaves a conversation. Individuals can still stay in the meeting post the host retiring. But a Zoom call ends when the host decides to end the call and also allows the host to pass the baton to another host when they decide to leave the conversation, which is a pretty neat feature. Final question, which app is better? In terms of features, Zoom definitely has the upper hand with features such as being able to see 49 user videos at once changing backgrounds, saving in-meeting chats, and also offering support for Mac users and third-party applications. Google Meet scores in terms of ease of usage, and you can consider a subscription that starts at half of what Zoom charges. Also, let's not forget that when you pay $6 for Google Meet, you're paying for the entire G Suite and all of the other applications and not one particular video conferencing app, unlike Zoom. In Meet, it is also easier to invite colleagues through the Gmail contact list, set reminders or add a meeting to members' calendars. Meet will also allow for faster video calling by allowing the same meeting ID to be used multiple times. It also promises better security and has inscription up to the later security standards. In conclusion, both apps score well in their own right. If you are a big organization and you like to feature a rich video conferencing application, Zoom would be the one for you. If you like ease of usage and simplicity, combined with proven security standards, and if you are a G Suite customer, Google Meet would be your go-to choice. But it is very likely that both of the apps will do a fairly decent job in video communications.